Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is the very last Whisper run I'm ever going to do. So, with it getting sunsetted in November, I figured I'd do one more and try and get the most efficient run that I can get. And this was pretty good. I think I beat it in about 14 minutes 50 or something like that. It was definitely over 5 minutes left at the end. So, do not on the Warlock. I'm going to be starting on Void Walker. Now, for anybody that doesn't want to see the setup, I'll put the time on the screen where the run starts, but it's probably worth listening to this just to understand why I'm changing stuff in the run. So I'm running Void Walker. Uh, Devour is the order of the day. That's the For me, that's the best jump to be doing this with. Vortex Grenade and Healing Rift. When I change to Dombly, which I will do, it's got roughly the same setup. Obviously, Well of Radiance is different from Devour, but it's still going to be the big area of effect grenade, Healing Rift and Strafe, strafe Glide. I'm going to start off with primary shotgun just for blights. That's really all it's for. I've got a taken spec on it. Then I'll be switching to the whispering slab. It's pretty good. They've both got taken specs. It's pretty good that whispering slab's got demolitionist on it. Uh, Jotun's going to be doing a lot of heavy lifting in this in this run. I'll be switching at the boss for a section of the boss to Tatara Gaze. And I'm running Fallen Guillotine. It's, it's very close to being the Govro. It's not got Swordmaster's Guard on it, but it's got everything else. Now a little, a little thing that I'll tell you guys, if you've got, I have Jagged Edge, which is, that is the what you would want to use, but I'm starting off this with Hungry Edge, because I can carry a ton more sword ammo, in fact it's, it's enough ammo to almost get uh, Whirlwind Blade up to times 5 and then fire your heavy attack, so it's worthwhile having it. The armor is where it gets really kind of... I wouldn't say complicated, but more complicated than I'm used to. So I'm running full taken armor. So last wish, everything's last wish but the gauntlets. The gauntlets are Dreaming City. So I'm running uh, taken repurposing. Obviously, break a shield, I get my grenade back. Fusion rifle target and special ammo finder. Solar damage resistance. Uh, major resist on the gauntlets. Fastball because I prefer to be able to throw my grenades further. Taken armaments speaks for itself. Chest plate's got major resist, infernal whip, large armor reserves, and taken invigoration. All of those are good. Infernal whips, it, it is what it is. I, I I don't even think I used it, so I had it on there because it was a backup plan for the bosses. Didn't really need it, so that's that's at your own discretion. Concussive dampener, special ammo scavenger, enhanced sword, and taken barrier. They all speak for themselves. Concussive dampener allows me to tank a bit more area of effect damage. Taken barrier, which I've got on on the bond as well, because you can stack it. Same as major boss and minor resist, they all stack. Uh, it allows me to tank the the taken knight solar damage. That's why I've got solar damage resist and double major resist. Just makes me a bit tankier against those guys. Special ammo scavenger, well, I'm, for the majority of it, I'm going to be running two special weapons, so having that scavenger is imperative. Uh, oppressive darkness, boss resist, and taking barrier. Now, you could probably switch out the boss resist for a major on that gauntlet, but I kept it on because reasons that will become apparent as the run goes on. Taking barrier and oppressive darkness, why wouldn't you? Now, at a point in the run, I'm going to change to this loadout. And that's why. I'm going to change to a loadout. And I'll change to, when I change to Dawnblade to get my Will of Radiance. I'm going to change to a build that gives me 100% mobility uh, and intellect. The only two other mods I'll have on is a special ammo finder and a special ammo scavenger. That is literally just to get my super. Then I'm going to change to this loadout. Now, this is going to be my boss loadout. I'll, at the time, I'll have both of those weapons on as well. Shield Break Charge, Special Ammo Finder, and Boss Resist. Shield Break Charge, basically, when I when I kill, when I I kill break a shield with a matching element, I'm going to become charged with light. Right? And with Charged Up, Charged Up allows me to get... Uh, an additional stack of charge for light. Now there is another uh, uh, another one that I never thought of, which is that you actually I actually could have put that on. 
but I didn't. I, I only had this one. So it's worthwhile having supercharged up. Okay. Lucent Blade, because I'm going to be attacking the bosses with a sword. Lucent Blade, basically, when, when I'm charged with light, once I do damage with a sword, I get additional damage for 5 seconds. I think it's like 20-30% to 30 extra damage it's worthwhile having, but it greatly increases the charge rate for your sword. So you can pull off your heavy attack faster. That's going to be what I hit the boss with. Now, I have got this. It gives me another boss resist, and it gives me high energy fire, but I chose to just stay with that for the invigoration. And then once I've done what I've done, you'll see I'll go back to the, the original loadout. And that's what I'll finish it with. So that that's the run, guys. That is what I'm going to be using. Uh, for anybody that skipped, uh, you're probably not going to understand some of this. For you guys that stayed through the explanation, I hope that wasn't too confusing. And I hope you see how it how it works in, in the run so as you can see now we've spawned into the run uh the jumping part is 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 literally all confidence i think once you understand how the, the the jump works you shouldn't you shouldn't really have any problems with this after that i'm going to be running my sword for most of this it gives me that third person perspective and the sword is yeah, it's pretty good for helping you elongate jump, save your boost, um, because your boost has a limited amount of time. And when you're cutting it off, like I do here with the Warlock, when you're cutting it off constantly, you lose a little bit of the maximum boost time you've got. So I use the sword to elongate my jump and make up for anything that the sword doesn't, you know, anything the boost, I lose with the boost. So... Yeah, I've got time limits that I like to hit. A good time to finish this jumping puzzle. Kind of, you still want to be in the 16 minute mark. So, three. I, I think I do this with 3 minutes 40 or something. That, that's okay. I think my fastest of doing this is just over 3 minutes. Uh, everything's time gated though. If I get to this wall here at about 18.46 then I'll try and make the first bit of this kind of puzzle bit here, where the, where the walls come out. I'll try and do one, because I think the walls start coming out at 1842. Uh, and then when I drop down here, as you can see, I try to make that... It's, it's no big deal if you don't. It's just all time. Uh, the, all of this stuff right now is just, is, is just take your time, make your jumps, use... if. If you think you're not going to make it onto a onto a, a ledge like this, use your sword to sword you back at the wall. You know, don't worry about sword ammo because we're going to be getting that back with taking armaments. This part as well, you'll see something really weird here. I got pushed down, but the sword will bring me all the way back up. It's just it, it's really good for for making these jumps. The sword helps me quite a few times, just in this little jumping section. And that's what I'm talking about, about elongating the jump. I jump, cut the boost, and then sword. That part there, I when I land on that platform, I kind of run against the wall a little bit, just for a millisecond, so that I can uh, get my, my slide. Because if you don't, you won't be able to slide, to get slide underneath. It's just all time, time saving. Uh, you're basically, you're making it into this last kind of black hole, it's really hard to commentate the, the jumping section because there's no special kind of make sure you do this or make just be be consistent. You know, don't try and shave <clears throat> two seconds off here or three seconds off there. Just do it repeatedly because there's a good chance unless you've done this multiple times, there's a good chance you're not going to do it every time. So look at every time as a learning a learning curve. And make sure you're being consistent with the way you're doing this jumping puzzle. You'll find that, you know, practice makes perfect. I like to boost all the way through here, you know, and just don't bother landing. And there we go. So as soon as we get past this little part here, the jumping puzzle commentary wasn't that great. But what can you say? Jump and land your jumps, basically. I make it straight up, go straight up here, and I'm going to take these two guys on the left with the Jotun. So we take the sniper first, 
and then then the captain and then this sniper here now this last captain kind of messes about with you if you try and fire from range he will always try and dodge your shots so i push at him as soon as i've killed him devour a grenade kill nearly all of the the thrall with one one kind of big whirl drop a grenade on those ads that are coming in and i, I start making it around the rest of the ads just sword 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 put a grenade up on top of there and when it when you get one i didn't have one there and there's and just kind of it can the reason why i'm going to keep throwing grenades is obviously I'm, I'm running my first set of ammo my first set of armor sorry so i've got taken armaments as soon as that breaks change the shotgun break break the break the seal as soon as you can round to the right big sword attack on the captain then get this guy over here i put a grenade down there it didn't really do too much took a little bit of this uh captain's health off him but i'm gonna try and keep my devour break the shield break the seal again and then we're straight in here. So I'm going to go up and I'm going to take this captain first. I want to make sure I've still got Devour. I don't have it at the moment. So I'm going to eat my grenade. I'm going to go up here. Big attack on him. And that's just one less enemy to deal with. And that's him done. Now I'm going to go after these ads. I'm, now I'm going to kind of do a bit of a... Do a bit of a, a route round here. So make sure all these ads are gone. And then we're going to go after the wizard. Now I don't want to use my my big attack because I want to use it on him. And as you can see, it's I was lucky there. Kind of lucky. That's one of the real kind of only times that I needed that little bit of luck. But uh, if you've got if you've got the shadow throw coming at you, remember to kill them with a the sword. Don't worry about sword ammo. So once you've killed these, you've got up here, once you've killed those. I'm going to kill this Taken Captain, and then I'm going to use my grenades, as you'll see here, just toss that down on those guys, and I'm getting sword ammo straight away. And I've got my grenade back. Now, there's a couple of more ads at the bottom here, I'm just going to throw a grenade down on them, and then I'm going to break this with a shotgun. While they are kind of dying, basically, I'm going to break that with a shotgun. I'm going to take out these ads, so take out these three and then i'm going to turn and over these two guys now i'm going to change this is what i was talking about in the setup this is now i'm going to change to my second setup which is the hundred percent uh the hundred percent intellect setup right and i'm going to change weapons so i already explained what why i was doing that if, if, if you missed the explanation, it's worthwhile going back to listen to it. So now what I'm going to do is I need to generate a little bit of special because I've, I've lost all my shotgun special. There will be special in the room we just come out of, but basically now it's about getting my super and being able to replenish my special. And you can see my bow's master worked, so I'm getting, I'm getting orbs on every kill. Change back to the shotgun because we need it to take out the blights in the next room. And then I'm just going to run, and as you can see, I've got on my, on my, as I said at the start of the video, on my full intellect build, I've got special ammo scavenger and finders, and that's why I'm dropping so much special. Time is not an issue for us right now. We've still got 12 minutes left, and it isn't going to take us 12 minutes to kill these bosses. So we're going to go up here, get this last brick. And then we're going to go down to the boss. What we're going to do is we're going to take out the first two blights. We only want to take three of these blights. We're going to take the first two blights as soon as you go down. It's six shots with the perfect paradox with the taking uh, spec on it. Takes down a blight. So take down the first blight. And then when we're going to go over, take out this blight, reload in the air. And as soon as we take out this blight, we're going to go into this little cave to our right straight away so you can slide in there if you're in any danger reload with shotgun and then i'm going to go straight out as soon as i can and take out the third blight that's the only blights we need to take out now i've heard people say don't take the blights out they give you protection they also block shots they mean that you have to go in and attack enemies and I, i'd prefer just to get them out of the way so i'm pretty confident now that i'm going to get my super so i've put on my gauntlets that give me taken armaments. 
put down my grenade. And as you can see, I've got some armaments there. I need to make sure. I'm pretty confident now that I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get my super. So I've changed to taking repurposing, which means I get my grenade back when I break shields. Trying to take out or get one of them quite low. I'm not too bothered if I miss grenades because I've got taking repurposing on. So, you know, I was taking a lot of fire there. Normally, I'm not too bad at hitting my grenades. Put my well down. Not too bothered about that either. So now we've got a grenade. I'm just going to toss that grenade on him. I really only want to keep one arc shielded cabal up to the end. So, still got a, a bunch of these guys. Unfortunately, that grenade went straight through them. So I'm going to try because I want the 60 odd shots. I'm going to try take out some of these ads, and I just all I want to do is break the last the last guy's shield once, so that I can get my grenades hiding behind that block. I know there's a couple of ads there. The other guys that I want to use on want to use the grenade on. So he's moved now. Now I can throw my grenade. I don't care as long as it kills one of them. There we go. That's all you need. Let's move out of the way. Make sure that I'm not I'm not in any danger. As you can see, I'm actually being able to take my time here. Break the shield again. Get another grenade. Put that down on him. And now I'm going to actually get my proper setup now. So... I'm going to put on shield break charge. As you can see, this is the setup that, that I was talking about. Lucent blade, shield break charge. Uh, I'm going to change to jagged edge. This is going to be the setup we're going to attack most of the bosses with. So now, we're going to go down here. Put down a, 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 a rift because once we kill this guy, we're going to get we're going to get another rift and straight in big attack we're in we're in we're rift big attack you just want we don't want to put down the well just yet as you can see there's no need for me to put down the well just yet as soon as i'm in any danger the well goes down and i'm, I'm staying in this blight this blight's protecting me a little bit from all the rest of the ads and as you can see the bosses are here but they're not coming out the well so i'm waiting for them to do their attacks Use the sword to keep me in the well. You know, and you can see I'm just... This build is just kind of melt, melting them. Make sure you're constantly getting back to the well. Now he's in trouble. The well... the well, When the well goes, you want to go out the back. Now we're just making sure that we're okay. I put through my grenade. Through my grenade to get the shield. And I'm going up back into this cave area up here. And now I'm going to change back to the setup that I want to use on the rest of the enemies. So we're going to go back to Devour. Back to the, the original setup. As you can see, with two of the bosses are dead. I need the Yolton on. Now, what we need to do straight away is break a combatant shield. As you can see, I'm just... I'm just just putting a little bit on those guys but there's some void enemies here as soon as i break one of the shields i'll get a grenade but these these invisible guys they're kind of kind of blocking my shots so i'm going to come out and just clear clear a couple of them as soon as i get my grenade we're gold i'm just checking making sure i've got uh taking repurpose on which i do because i thought i'd broke one of the shields reload there's a couple of void guys here there we go perfect shields broke eat the grenade now everything happens now see i'm, I'm dropping heavy i gonna break another shield get another grenade i can throw the grenade there because i've got i've got uh i've got devour and i can keep it going now but you'll see I'm dropping heavy. The game seems to really know when you need ammunition. It's really good at giving you ammo. Now I can go out get this. Now I can 
start melting the enemies and I can get more heavy and it kind of is it's it's I wouldn't say a vicious cycle but it's a cycle now I'm gonna break the shield I'm gonna kill that wizard but breaking the shield gives me my grenade back taking repurposing is so good now I've nearly run out of devour we've nearly done this I'm just gonna eat my grenade I don't have to worry about getting it back using Devour because I'm going to break this wizard shield and his ad shield getting uh, a grenade straight back. Just kind of topping up on heavy. Now I'm just going to put a rift down in front of this young fellow and just melt him with a sword. I will put a grenade on him just for extra damage. And that's it. That's the end of the run. We 15 minutes 10 roughly left on the run when it's finished. I hope this run has helped you. I hope it's just been a little bit different from some of the normal runs that you see out there. Uh, thank you very much for supporting me and the videos. There's a lot more to come in the next couple of weeks. So until those videos, take it easy and I will see you in the next one.